welcome back to my channel. I'm so glad you decided to join me today for this painting tutorial of a cardinal in winter time. So I'm working on a 9x12 canvas today that I primed once with acrylic gesso. It's white, white acrylic gesso, and I let it dry. And I'm going to be going over the colors as well. We're going to be using, uh, where's my, there it is. <laughs> I'm going to grab my little brush here, my number 30 filbert brush. We're going to be using titanium white, Mars black, crimson red, scarlet red, and sap green. So to begin, I'm going to start with a background, getting a little bit of water on my brush, just wet it a little bit first, and then we're going to take some white with some black, and we'll start creating sort of a blurry background here. Any brush stroke you want, do little crisscrosses. This is going to give us uh, different tones light and shadow going on in the background, making it look a little bit more realistic. So it could be trees, branches in the background, anything that's going on in the forest. Now because we're using some red today, Thought we would take it's a good idea to take some green for tie in some of those complementary colors red and green of course being complementary I'm just going to blend this, the rest of these little patchy areas together. And then we'll start coming with, coming in with our branches. All right, for my branches, I'm going to be using a long liner brush. And I'm just going to be using some white and black. A little bit more black to make a darker shade. This way our snow will really stand out. So we'll just start pulling all the way off the canvas. And then I'm going to create little scoopy looking branches. I love those. And then I'm going to use a little bit less pressure where I want to have the ends of my branches look a little bit more delicate. I'm going to make this one a little bit wider. This is going to be our heavier. Notice how I'm kind of shaking as I'm pulling and dragging that paint out. 
is going to be our heavier, thicker main branch. That our pretty little cardinal is going to be perched upon. Black. Okay, now we can start coming in with our snow. For the snow, I'm going to be using a number two round brush. And I'll take a little bit of white. I just want to kind of drag it along so it looks somewhat uneven and kind of lumpy. Now, this is just the first layer of snow, so I'm getting some lighter gray tones. Of course, because I'm adding, applying this white to wet paint underneath. So as the painting starts to dry, we can come back to it later and add our final coat of snow. And I might even, I probably will, add a little bit of a shadow to my snow using some of my light blue violet. So, they're kind of shaky, and I'm trying to be shaky right here to give it a little bit more of an uneven, kind of a lumpy look. That can really, really help. Kind of helps just to make that snow look like it's layered on there.
So I've got this really pretty blue violet. I'm going to take a little bit of my white with it. I'll show you how pretty this can look when you incorporate it. And that's a bit too wet, so I'm going to have to go back to that later. I'm just going to very lightly add this on here and there. And I'm just going to scumble a little bit of it around. Soft little circles. I just like to have a few areas look a little bit sort of hazy and blurry. Out of focus. And we have that with the background. I want something just like a little bit in between both. Okay, so I'm going to leave that and I'm going to switch brushes. I'm going to go over to a smaller filbert brush. I've got a number four filbert here. And I'm going to start with my crimson red. A little bit of black. I'll take a scoop of each here. And we'll just start freehanding this like I always do. I love to freehand. Um, right about here. Sore card. Oh, that's a beautiful, deep kind of cherry color. I love that. Scoop like this. Oval. Pick, I'm going to pick up all those wet colors underneath, but I don't care. I'm going to use that for mid-tones and to help create that opaque base. Opaque, so it's not transparent. Let's take a little bit more of that now. more black crimson I'm gonna do a vine like that sort of just flick off the end there and come up here and pull in these shadow areas here. Okay, now I'm going to start working on the head. And I'm going to add scarlet red now. I come up, over and flick. Push. Flick. So we're going to create a little V right there and add our scarlet around. So I'm going to take a bit more. Get a little bit bigger this time. And just start kind of pulling and flicking in here into that wet paint underneath. 
So we get those shadows in between for our feathers. We're gonna come up, bring it in here. And then come sort of like in a triangle shape right about here. And then fan out for the tail. So scoop under for the belly. Get really close to that wing. Gonna just a little flicker of red right there. Triangle. I'm gonna take a bit of uh, both reds this time and a bit of black. Pull, pull, pull. And we'll start working on uh, his beak and eye area. But I want to round this area just a slight. And give some of this pink. So I've got quite a bit there to work with. Make that a little bit rounded and come up a little bit higher there. I'm going to be using my round brush and I'll take a little bit of that red and I'm going to add a little triangle right here for the beak then I'll be taking some black and doing a V like this Pulling that in, and then down in front of him. I'm adding a tiny bit of my luminous neon red. Okay, I'm going to take a little bit of each red, scarlet and the neon, and pull it inside here. Create a few little singular feathers off the end. Let me just switch over here to my little round brush. I'm going to use my rake fan. You guys can see that. A rake fan brush or even tail brush. 
I'm gonna use this to create more texture and feathers. The next color I'm going to add is my Luminous Neon Orange. This is just to create a different temperature for some of the highlights on the bird. So I'm just going to go without washing my brush right into that orange. I've got hints of the reds barely touching the canvas. This is really going to give us that kind of a satiny looking texture it's a little bit lighter down in here there and I'm going to take a little bit of white Make that orange a little bit lighter and more opaque. The paint is a little bit too thick underneath there. I could just take some off and then we apply that again just with my orange and a little bit of white. And then just a little bit of scumbling down here. Pull a few simple lines in here, same colors, a little scumble here, make that a little bit thicker inside. Another little line right there. There's just a very faint line here. I'm just going to even, I'm going to just leave that out. It's so far away, we're not going to see it. I'm going to take up part of that black that comes up way too high. There we go. Bring in a little bit more of that neon red, tiny bit of orange. A 
put a few layers of feathers in here. Just a few lines overlapping. Highlight there on the end. Got a few little tufts of hair there. And we can start adding some more snow now. I'm just gonna go right around his beak. Take a little bit of that blue, tint our white a little bit. have this branch come out in front now so I'm going to take some black first and we'll bring this down and up like this it's got to be perched inside of something and we couldn't have painted that um, beforehand it makes sense to paint it after so we'll just layer over with a little bit of snow here his feet. And this branch needs to come in front too. There. This wants to make the painting look more 3D. And we'll just go up and over. A few little lines. And then I'll just highlight them slightly. Here. I've got this little liner brush I can make a 
few more delicate branches and bits of snow. Take some blue. It's really, really dark around his eye, but I just want to add a little dab of something there so we can see a little bit. I'm going to go over to one of my larger round brushes here. This one is the number seven. And I'm going to add a little bit more snow to some areas. really layer it on here. A little scumble around. Okay, the last thing I'm going to do is spray some snow on here, but I'm going to use the toothbrush, get it wet. Scrubble or scrubble it around. Scrub it around in that white. Make sure there's not too, too much water on it. And it over. And then just spray, aim and spray wherever you want to have some snow. Okay, I'm going to call this painting all done. This was so much fun. Glad I got to share it with you all. I hope you enjoyed it as well. Have a wonderful day. Feel free to paint along with me and share this video with your friends and groups. Take care, everybody. I'll see you soon in my next video. Bye.